Hello and welcome to our RIA tutorial. My name is Sigrid Liebler and today I will show you what you need to be aware of to measure correctly with RIA Vericube. Measuring the code quality is more than just reading the code content as a scanner does. Measurement results must be reproducible. Verifiers are subject to tolerances in measuring accuracy that are specified in standards. To check the accuracy of your device, the calibration must be performed regularly. We recommend monthly calibration. Please watch also our tutorial calibration for this procedure. In order to obtain reproducible measurement results, some more points must be taken into account when performing a measurement. Vericube is a measuring instrument. Handle with care. Use and store Vericube in an environment with as little dust as possible. The code must be aligned parallel to the crosshairs in the live image. The code size must not be too small for the camera resolution. We recommend 10 to 10 camera pixels per module. Never measure in sunlight or with a direct spotlight shining into the measuring area. Never measure in the vicinity of heat sources like infrared radiation. Measurement should be made with black background. Use the black plate that is included in the Vericube equipment if possible. This is very important for transparent foils or some transparent types of labels. Only for very opaque material like this carton, it is not mandatory to use a black background. The coat must lie directly and flat on the glass pane. Avoid tilting. Keeping all these items in mind, we can now perform a measurement. The software is already started and Vericube is ready to operate. First, I select a profile to make sure I'm measuring with the correct settings for this application. I select a profile that was created in the tutorial how to configure a measuring profile. If live image isn't shown, I can start it with a big play symbol or with a smaller symbol in the icon bar. The code must be positioned so that it is parallel to the crosshairs. Ideally, it lies in the center and I put the black plate on top. As soon as the software recognizes the code, it is marked with a green square. I can now click on verify. The measurement can even be started if the software hasn't marked the code before. Verification will just take a little bit longer. If the software has been set to request the order number, this window will come up. I can enter a new number or confirm with OK. The result is now displayed very clearly with a green dot for pass and, in our case, with an overall grade of 4A. The software was in our case configured to save and print automatically all measurements. If you have any questions, please find our contact details below. Until next time, your secret Liebler.